So I'm going to show you how to migrate an existing uh, project over to Doxy. I will take our product metrics.im as an example. Uh, as you can see, we have a privacy policy and a terms of service pages. And uh, uh, this page is they're all built out with, uh, you know, HTML. Like, as you can see, it's just a bunch of very clunky HTML files. And uh, what we are going to do is we are going to transfer them over uh, to Doxy. So we can update them dynamically and we don't have to manage static HTML content anymore. Uh, so in order to do that, all I need to do is go into actual Doxy and uh, just log in uh, and create a new shelf. I'll call it MIM, metrics.im, and uh, give it a description. Uh, fill in uh, the domain name that I'm going to use. So that will be just metrics.im and provide any additional testing hosts, which are comma separated. Okay, now that's that's done. Uh, the shelf is created for us. Also, it's created with a book and a language and a version. Uh, so I'll just open the default book. It has uh, English as the default language and just a basic version. It could be used for A-B testing. Just name it. And... Uh, then I'll just go over to uh, metrics.im and just copy over the text. Just copy paste it into Doxy. Okay, so I've just copy pasted my content into Doxy. Now I'm just gonna run a quick time lapse of me editing this content because I need to kind of improve it a bit. As um, I didn't like it to begin with, but I didn't want to bother formatting the HTML. But now it's just gonna be nice and easy for me. Now I just click publish and I can quickly generate the developer's preview by clicking developer preview. So this is a full HTML, uh, which could be already embedded into any page uh, or it couldn't be used as a separate page. And it will simply take on the style of your website as long as you supply the CSS. But I would want to have it inside of meme. So what I'm going to do is I'll just check that I have my host edit as meme and uh, I will go into the book, I will uh, select publish and I will copy the embed script. Then I will go over to my code, I will delete all of the static HTML and just put in the new H JavaScript which will replace all of my HTML. And now I will simply go uh, to the site and check out my terms of service, right? And as you can see, the terms of service are generated, but it's a little bit too narrow, so I just need to kind of adjust the viewport width. So I'll just uh, adjust it right here in the modifier, and I also want to display the date when the file was last modified, uh, because it's a terms of service. So I paste it in, I refresh, and that's it, it's updated. And uh, it, But as you can see, there is something wrong with the page. 
and that's the fact that the footer is actually now at the top of the page and the reason for that is that uh, doxy always attaches itself to the lowest component of the page unless you provide it uh, with a special uh, HTML tag called DDS root. So I'll just copy paste that in and I'll put the JavaScript inside of the data DDS root like this and that's it. So uh, the page has actually been updated now. So if you take a look, uh, the footer is gone. Footer is at the bottom of the page that it's supposed to be and the page is properly formatted. Now, if I need to make any changes to my terms of service or privacy policy, I just go into Doxy and I edit them and I don't need to touch HTML ever again. And let's say I want to add a picture or something and I just go away, copy paste the picture URL, whatever it is, and that's it. And then go back to my site and the picture is already there and it's already been reflected on my portal. And you can actually go to metrics.im site right now and it's there. See how simple it is? Beats uh, working with HTML files, I'll tell you that. Um, okay, that's it for the tutorial. I hope this was helpful to you. And uh, start using Doxy now. It's really awesome and it makes managing content across multiple pages extremely easy. Good luck.